testing your website or web page against uh, multiple browsers, so sort of cross browser uh, verification. Um, and so the solution that I'm using here is by no means comprehensive. Um, in fact, if you wanted to be comprehensive, uh, there's a web page here that I've included in this sample website of how to check your website with multiple browsers on a single machine, cross browser co co compatibility checking. Um, if you follow that link, you'll get to uh, this web page here, uh, which goes in depth, very in depth, and gives a, a lot of good suggestions on how to do not just cross browser uh, checking, but also uh, cross versions of browsers checking. So making sure that your web page uh, works in various browsers, various versions of browsers. And so this article I felt uh, was very good and gave a good discussion. But but for purposes, practical purposes of this class, we're not going to check uh, our websites against our web pages against every browser out there. Uh, what I did was I sort of used a feature of of this software package that I'm using here. I'm using Notepad++. I uh, started the semester just using Notepad, but I uh, have become a bit of a fan of Notepad++ uh, for those of you, and, and so it can be downloaded uh, from this web page here, uh, notepad-plus-plus.org, -plus -plus and you can do a download here, and I'll, I'll, I'll show some features. Now this is a Windows uh, package. There is a corresponding uh, Mac package called Text Wrangler, uh, which the download for that is at this URL here. Uh, for those of you who have a Mac, you can try that. Uh, it seems to have gotten good reviews, um, and over time, um, this last article was uh, last year, but over time, I think from some reviews that I've seen, it's gotten better. So that could be something that you use, and I'll show you some features of Notepad++ that I think are in Text Wrangler, which would, would suggest that it would be a good package to use uh, for this class and for future website development. Uh, Linux users, uh, I think your whatever editor you're using probably does a lot of these features. Uh, so uh, let's go back here, and I have multiple, as you can see here, I've got multiple browsers up. I have uh, Chrome up top, Firefox here in the middle, and Internet Explorer, Explorer down here, and I don't know exactly which versions, but I think it's the latest versions of all of them. Uh, and so, what I've done is taken the website over here, it's in my Notepad++, and I've shown it on all three of these, in all three of these browsers. Uh, so you can see how some things look different, the colors of the uh, link are a little different. Uh, if you look over here, I've included uh, a quote uh, because when we were going through the quotation, uh, the book had said that uh, that IE doesn't render the quotation marks automatically, but that was obviously up, uh, outdated because if you look down here in IE, the quotes are rendered just like they are here in Firefox and also how they are up here in uh, Chrome. You can tell though the fonts are a little different um, in each one. So this gives an idea that if you were developing a website, you could check these things out. I also included the abbreviation tag because if you notice, uh, the uh, the abbreviation LOL down here, I put my mouse on it, uh, hover over it in Chrome, and I do get the laugh out loud tag. The same thing happens here in Firefox, however, if you notice the um, the actual abbreviation gets underlined. Um, it looks like my browser's having a hard time catching up here. Uh, that's the other thing, running three browsers um, at one time on a machine sometimes gets a little um, overbearing. Uh, but nevertheless, this does work, uh, but you can see how in Firefox it does put a dash line up under uh, the abbreviation and down here in IE it does not. Uh, so uh, just some minor differences in websites uh, the way they display it on different browsers but nevertheless enough to uh, drive a, a web developer a little crazy um, and having to manage all these things. And there you see it working in Firefox now. Um, so showing 
feature in Notepad++. There are a couple of features that I like, uh, th and this one especially helps with this cross-browser idea, is if you go up here under Run, as you can see, I can launch my web page in Firefox, Internet Explorer, Chrome, Safari, and I can get help on various other things. Uh, and I think I can install different versions if I wanted to. Uh, so that's very helpful, and then there's shortcut keys that allow you to do that. So if you get developing along and you want to see how your web page looks in different browsers, this package makes things a little easier. While I'm on the topic of features of, um, of Notepad++, uh, some things that are very, very cool, I think, uh, is that you can, uh, you can do different encodings. You can search from a whole bunch of different languages, ADA, ASP, Assembly. And what it does with those languages is it 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 puts the um, the, K, the excuse me the semantically sensitive highlighters in there for you. So it makes all of my tags here blue. It makes my links purple, uh, and that kind of thing. And that really helps when you're talking about editing and and keeping track and keeping a very clean looking site. It also has these things over here. If you're working on a large site, you can you can group things together. So I can once I do my head I can close that and then I can just work on the body and then I can also collapse different parts of the body as well if my code gets gets large so this is very helpful so um, and then there's a third thing which I think is really neat if you go over here this will actually if I was if I'm trying to uh, connect to an FTP excuse me if I'm trying to do a file transfer protocol FTP to a server uh, I can set up my settings uh, much like you do with WinSCP um, and then you connect and so I can connect this to my Prism account and you see down here it's connecting and then the directory of my Prism account comes up and then I can actually transfer the files these files that I create over here directly to my Prism account I can have some um, active saving as well so when I save it locally it automatically saves uh, remotely and that's very nice because then I can test out some things very quickly and easily. So this is these are just a few features of Notepad++ um, that are very helpful. And like I said, it's downloadable from the Notepad++ website. And Text Wrangler, I believe, works for Macs. And I believe that Linux users have these capabilities uh, built into the native um, text editor on Linux. So this is just uh, one way to very uh, quickly test against multiple browsers. That concludes this video for cross-browser